Hello everybody, welcome back to the Let's 100% Lego Star Wars 2 The Original Trilogy. Okay. More dead stormtroopers. Always dead stormtroopers. I'm glad they're completely expendable because I'm starting to feel a little guilty with how many of them I'm killing. Nice. Just shot those guys before they even knew we were here. All right. Things we have to do. Well, there's one really obvious one. Okay. Ba boom. All right, we got one mini kit left, and uh, I'm pretty sure I know where that one is. Okay, we killed all of the stormtrooper guys, I guess. That's all we really have to do in here, but... Well, we didn't have to do anything. It's an optional zone. Although we can blow up parts of the ceiling. Should be noted. Because I didn't know that when we were doing that... Story mode, that we could do this. Alright. Okay, this shower will give you studs. Uh, the rest of them don't. They just, they're just showers. I checked it out. Because we didn't know last time. Like, so yeah. Those are just for show. They're, they do exactly what they did. Which was made me wonder if I missed something. So down we go. All right. Really, buddy? Oh, it was Joe. We killed each other. Fantastic. All right. No more stormtroopers. We can clean out the containers in here. We're almost to the princess, which is awesome. Okay. Time to make control panels. Darth Sidious. That's right. I know his. I know his Sith name. Cause I worked at Taco. I worked at Taco Bell when a few of those movies were released. He was a game pad in our Taco Bell giveaway thing, if I remember correctly. And he was listed as Darth Sidious. It was really weird. All right, those guys are get out of my way. There, I'm glad you're dead. You were a jerk. Okay. Our last, uh, our last mini kit is in one of these, one of these cells. Ah, oh, you're such a pain in the butt, man. Okay. Nice. Oh, I thought for sure he was it. Apparently not. Really, you guys? Okay. Ooh, you make me so mad. All right, well, clearly... What? Man, I'm going to be really mad if I missed odd mini kitten here. 
Okay, we don't need to do that. Wait a minute. Crap. These jerks. I want to see what we can do to Leo with the... Nice! We can't kill her, apparently, but... Crap, oh crap, oh crap. Well, we took out that guy. Oh, man, would you stop that? There we go. Okay. Fantastic. Despite the Emperor's insistence on being a pain in the butt in this hallway, we made it. We got it. Fantastic. End of free play. We got Tractor Beam. We got a True Jedi free play. And of course, we finished the mini kit. There we go. So we got our 54th and 55th gold brick. We are in awesome shape. Let's go to the cantina. We're going to finish as Greedo and the Emperor a lot. They're our force character and our explosives character. They unlock the majority of things we couldn't unlock before. So we'll see where we're at now. 56.3%. I really want to look at what we've got for characters here. Yeah, we're going to need to buy Go Boba Fett. IG-88. Oh, uh, he's obnoxious. Alright. So, uh, when we come back... Like Darth Vader in the background. When we come back, we will be uh, free playing our next level. Uh, you got, Or buying... Uh, what the... Uh, bounty hunters. I'm not sure yet. You guys take care and bye, everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Lego Star Wars. We gotta buy some stuff. Uh, not characters, actually. I thought I was gonna buy bounty hunters, but we were gonna buy. Um. Oh, we already bought the tractor beam and invincibility. Okay, I'll have to show that video then without commentary because what happened was I went into. Geez, hopefully it didn't save the mini kits I got. I my disc froze. Okay, it didn't save the free play we did. Okay, good. But it did save what I bought before the free play. Because it auto saved when we entered the level, apparently. So we're going into this with invulnerability and uh selecting a TIE fighter. We have to do that. Because there'll be TIE fighter areas that have mini kits in them. Now, uh, let's make sure all of our extras are on. Blasters, Fast Force, Tractor Beam Invincibility, and 2 times Score. And we actually don't want to be the TIE Fighter right away. So now we can just run into walls and stuff as much as we want. Doesn't matter. Can't hurt ourselves. We're cheating. I mean, we're completely cheating now. I mean, don't get me wrong. We, I bought that cheap, but... Still cheating. You take away the enemy's ability to hurt you at all. Uh, that's a cheat. I don't, I don't care who you are or what you're doing. However, I mean, we're past the point where the issue for what we want to do here is the, is the challenge. You know, I, I don't know. I guess if you wanted to see, like, you know, free form, free play where I could die, 
I I guess you be, you'll be disappointed, but the bottom line is I hate these levels. All right. There's a mini kit right here that we can get by hitting this thing repeatedly. And then breaking the container that comes out. And you'll see that our tractor beam is really messing up anything that gets near us. Which is really cool. And we're going to get True Jedi really quickly. More because of the, uh, the two times than anything else. Yeah, that noise in the background, it just froze and started doing that. I'll tell you when it froze, and we'll. St it might do it again, I don't know. I didn't do anything to fix it, I didn't even pull the disc out. Huh. Maybe that was the one mini kit we got. Seems like there would be one in there. I'm gonna be really mad if I have to mess with the disc, but... I guess. I've had to do worse things, I suppose. Okay. TIE fighter area here. One missile and we get a mini kit. Alright. We're in good shape. Until we fritz out the game again. Which wouldn't surprise me. Because like I said, if nothing changes, nothing changes. Wait, did I say that? Well, I didn't say it today, but probably said it before. Okay, we don't really need... I'm not going to worry too much about the Lego studs anymore. Uh, just because we don't need them. Man, I, the tractor beam thing is awesome. I had no idea. I didn't. I didn't buy that in my last playthrough. All right, we do need to clear out some of this uh, because of the nature of the mini kit that's in there. The, it's it's my second it's my second least favorite mini kit in the in the game probably. And it's a pain in the butt. It's a huge pain in the butt. This is my least favorite mini kit, by the way, the one right through here. All right, not that one. Okay, so there's one in here that involves us uh, running over these lights as fast as we can. Holy crap! First try! Actually, not first try because this is where it froze. But <laughs> So I did make several attempts uh, in my previous deal. All right, we have a TIE fighter area here. Um, that actually we can't, it doesn't, we can't do anything with it, it seems. But we have to actually go back to a TIE fighter area back here that we didn't do anything with. And then, believe it or not, we, uh, we have to become the land speed. And uh, bring a grenade up there. As obnoxious as that is. It's what we have to do. It's what the game demands. Alright. And then we just have to slam this into that. Now I have to do it again. But uh, it's not that big a deal. The tractor beam I think will really help us out. Keep people from coming up behind us and grabbing it. Land speeder is a pretty ineffective. So, so what? Pretty ineffective uh, ship for 
this kind of battle. I do like that it doesn't recognize that uh, that hole as being an actual thing that would drop off the the grenade. Because it would be hard enough to get a grenade through here. All right, there we go. Took out a turret with a land speeder. That's awesome. Okay, we've got six of ten. Oh, please don't let me miss any. That's all I'm worried about. I don't know where they all are. I really don't. No idea. Wow. Okay. Fantastic. Really not loving that noise. But I associate it with the, uh... Oh, okay, we have a whole nother, a whole different area in here to find mini kits in, I guess. Although I can't really think of where they'll, they'd be at this point. We seriously have kind of done so much damage now that I, I question... Uh, I question the existence of more mini kits this level. They have to exist, though. They have to. Man, we're really messing up those TIE Fighters. It's awesome. Okay, now it seems like at this point we really should have uh, run into them because that area is the end of the level, essentially. Okay, well there's one. Get rid of all these turrets, though. Alright. We're still short way too many for to be comfortable with it. There aren't three in the last part, I don't believe. We got the crazy land speeder one. We've apparently already taken care of that as well. I'm not doing this for studs. I really want to find these other mini kits. I don't want to have to come back here if I can avoid it. Because, yeah, who wants to do... I had enough trouble doing this the first time. And the second time. Huh. We might just have to call it a day. I don't know what to say about this at all. I suppose if I, I mean, just, I guess getting out of here would be all right. Wouldn't be a huge deal. Like, we could always come back at short level. But, I mean, really? How much stuff could I have missed? Everything looks pretty standard to me. Unless blowing certain things up triggers uh, mini kit stuff to come out. Yeah, no. Not. We already got the power brick out of here. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I really am super disappointed. Yeah, see, this is the end.
it's really funny watching these things respawn. Like, because, like, now when we turn around, they'll, yeah, they're chasing us behind already. We got to check this out. I mean, we have to see what's in this area, without a doubt. But it looks like nothing. Huh. Well, then I certainly have my doubts about anything over here. Because, I mean, that's where the red brick was. Or the power brick. Hmm. Well, that's disappointing. That's really disappointing. <laughs> so we'll blow up the Death Star just for fun. Alright, well, we finished the free play anyway, so we got a, a thing for that. But we didn't, I mean, we didn't even come close to finishing the mini-kit. Seven's just a sad number. Alright, we're going to have a little cleanup to do in uh, in this episode, anyway. We have the couple mini-kits from that. But let's, like, we're going to go on to the, uh, to Empire Strikes Back and finish the first two of that. That'll give us 60 to complete the item outside. And uh, that'll give us a nice break from doing the same thing over and over. So uh, when we come back, uh, that. You guys take care and bye, everybody.